team. Let's move to the Jacksonville Jaguars. And you're looking at a position battle I think uh, a lot of us thought we were going to get a year ago when Urban Meyer uh, elected to use a first-round pick on a running back. Yeah, I was going to dive into the defensive tackle position with Jacksonville, but then I thought, ah, oh, i got to text Frisco and ask him what he thinks about these guys. And I don't really okay. feel like dealing with Pete. You know, it's, it's May. Hopefully I don't want to think about it until August. Yeah, so, he's in hibernation uh, it, anyway. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, he's in, he's he's you know, bears climbing to their cave. Pete's like pulled down the lid on his tanning bed, and he'll see you in August. <laughs> um, I, I think with the Jaguars running back is is an interesting one though because Travis Etienne first round pick last year, James Robinson right like you know I believe undrafted and you know came on strong his rookie season. Obviously, Urban Meyer wasn't a big fan, and then you also have Snoop Connor who was I, I think a fifth round pick for them uh, this year. Now. What's interesting is that Doug Peterson traditionally has not utilized a feature back in his offense. He likes to rotate these guys around. We were also under the impression that Travis Etienne was going to be used in a Percy Harvin, like split, split out wide type of role under Urban Meyer. What is Doug Peterson going to do with him? Is James Robinson going to be the lead back with Etienne as sort of the third down back? Will they just let Etienne be the feature back? Will Snoop Connor get a bunch of carries because he's the only guy drafted by this regime, sort of, you know, Falky was involved last year in the, in the selection. I mean, ETN would be the guy I'd lean on, but I, I think it's going to be fascinating to see how this plays out just because of Doug Peterson's history at the position and the timeline for, from which all three of these guys were acquired. ETN did not play a single regular season game last season, injured in the preseason after being taken 25th overall out of Clemson. Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis, no yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.